We're touching. We're smart. We're touching. <laughs> HP TouchSmart 610. Yes. What do we got? The HP TouchSmart 610. First thing I have to say is, man, this thing's heavy. 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 I, I don't even know how much it weighs. I want to say it weighs a good, I don't know, 20 pounds. The thing's freaking heavy. So it's an all-in-one. It is an all-in-one. Right. So what's what's inside the box is uh, the HP all-in-one. <laughs> There's just one thing in the box, right? <laughs> you have a keyboard. You have your mouse. You have um, software. Um, so as far as stats concerned, I mean, this is a big girl, man. This is 23 inches. 23 inches of love. 23 inches of beautiful love and uh, it's all touch sensitive which is really really fun um so and it's running windows 7 home premium right uh 64 bits already preloaded um it's an intel core i believe it's an i7 i have i3 here but i think it's an i7 i, I could be correct i'm uh, actually wrong but i'm pretty sure it's a nice i7 um and that's a uh, four gig of ram it has a whopping massive 750 gigabit hard drive. That's good. That's a good decent um, base drive. A gigabyte, sorry. <laughs> gigabyte hard drive. Yeah, it's a good decent uh -huh. base drive. It's, it's a huge drive, mm -hmm. right? Um, got a great webcam and microphone. You have a 6-in-1 meter reader. Um, you have, uh, I believe it's seven uh, USB 2 ports. Yeah, HP loves the uh, port. The, the they USB ports, they USB really ports. give you so many ports. Because I have like 19 different devices that all Absolutely. plug in USB ports here. Um, you have wireless LAN, which is a B, G, and N, and obviously a CD-ROM drive. So, and the, and the um, um, I, I didn't put down as a pro before, and I just realized this, right? On the 310, the CD drive pops out. Right. You, you slap the the the, um, the CD in, and then you push the, the tray back inside. This one is like like the Mac. This one just slides, slides right in. in. So that's really really cool. I like that a lot, and yeah. I forgot to mention that in, in in the pros here. But listen, I love the Smart Canvas. Um, when you launch a Smart Canvas, it, Smart Canvas is HP's own wrapper around Windows 7, and it is a dream. It really really is. It's very very nice. The Smart Canvas is what it said. It's a Smart Canvas. It just you can pin anything up there. You can move stuff around. It would be pictures, applications, whatever you want. It's very very nice. I, I like it a whole lot. My other pro with this also is the fact that um, Beats Audio is installed, and it's wonderful. I mean, the, the sound is fantastic. The thing that I do find curious, though, is the fact that, you know, you know I'm, I'm sure you're right here, because I'm actually using this right now. Here is is, is the, the, the Beats button right there. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that this is toggles it on and off. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, why on or off? It's Beats Audio, man. Just you leave wanna, it on. You want to rock it all the time. Just, just leave it <laughs> on, man. Live the experience. It's about people, man. <laughs> But no, but I find it curious um, that I have an on-off switch for the Beats Audio. Right. But me personally, I just keep it on all the time. So I, 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 I was curious to, to, to hear, find out, maybe I'll ask HP, what what was the, the, the reason behind that? Um, and unfortunately, I never asked them, so I, I'll, ne I'll never hear. Um, as far as, as cons are concerned, um, heavy. Yeah, very heavy. It's just it's just really heavy, and uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you kind than, of expect that in a 23-inch device, you know? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's just a lot of stuff in there. This I means it's a thick bezel, but it's a lot of glass on top of that. Right. And the only other thing that I don't like about about this particular model, I'm not, I didn't play this on the 310, so I don't even know if it's even there, is that it, this this kind of it slides up and down. Right. So I can grab it from the bottom and push the the monitor up and then drop it again, and I guess it's for to to adjust the height level, whatever the case might be, and that's very clunky. It's like you know you move it up, it's like boom. You move it down, it goes boom. So it, there's no like nice slide and it slowly comes to a, to a stop and we, we raise it and it slowly comes to a stop. It just kind of like like slams up or slams down. Um, and that was just like, ugh, that's, uh, I wouldn't want to do that too many times. Right. And um, that's pretty much it, man. So you feel that the, the, uh, the bloatware issue before on the 310 necessarily isn't so much a problem on the 610? 
It, it isn't. Um, and I've become so desensitized to bloatware that I don't pay attention anymore to it. Right. But this particular mod, I mean, I can minimize a few screens right here. You know what? I, I'm, I'm looking at the desktop, and that's what the bloatware normally is. No. I mean, no. Yeah. And I, I have to tell you, I, yeah. as we said in the previous um, review on the 310, um, so I, I also use an all-in-one at home as well. I, we're both Ray and I are, are very big fans of all-in-one uh, uh, machines. They're it's just really convenient, and uh, I, I just don't think that there's very much else you have to say about it. When when you go to a, a, a person who has a desktop at home and it's a big clunky noisy machine on the floor. And then they uh, see somebody, or look at, at when they go to down to Best Buy and see someone who has the all-in-one. They just are amazed that everything yeah. is wrapped into one little component piece. You yeah, know? it's a great piece of hardware, really, really is. Um, and that's pretty much it, man. I mean, I have nothing else, you know, bad to say about this thing. It just it works very really well. And again, you know, my son loves it because it's it's a larger screen than the 310, and so he, when he's playing either Kid Zooey or PBS Kids. Right. It's more real estate for him to play with. So it, it's a good device. Um, at Best Buy, you can pick it up new um, for about nine forty nine. Mm -hmm. Um And Best Buy also has refurbs, which you can pick up anywhere between 600 bucks and about 700 bucks. Yeah. So um, if you're in the market of picking up uh, a new PC and we're looking for a Windows PC, an all-in-one PC with a touchscreen, I would definitely look at HP. Yeah, HP has got a got a solid product. They've got a a, a great um, uh, engineering team out there. We've, yeah. we've we've spoken with them many many times. Yeah. And uh, we really really like their product. So nice guys. And listen, it, it, get the refurb. I yeah. mean, I believe I could be wrong, but I believe it's the same same warranty. Get the refurb. Save yourself like you know three hundred bucks. Right. I'll definitely go that route because I am cheap. Yeah, <laughs> He's drinking sangria, no beer for him. There you go, and a big <laughs> in a big jug too. That's right. Um, so I'm thinking that we gave we gave this uh, four. We're giving it four four remotes. Yeah, it's a really solid like product. HP. We like HP. We like the all-in ones, and maybe we'll see if HP will give us some more products like laptops and whatnot. We can review those also. Right. Um, but uh, we really like this product. Yeah. We definitely do. So take a look, check it out, go down to Best Buy, and let us know what you think. Cheers. Cheers. As always, thanks for watching. Only cool people press subscribe. Right here. That thing right there. All right, so we got some uh, Latitude 48 IPA from Sam Oh, Adams. I've had that before. That is a yummy one. Yeah, it's good stuff. That is a yummy one. It's I no sangria, want... but... No, it's not, but I definitely <laughs> want to try a dogfish head. Dogfish head's good. I like it a lot. I need to uh, need to make a run to to the market to pick up a dogfish mm. head. Um, I have to get up to Boston and go to the Sam Adams factory. Oh, my God. I, I, I Did really you hear to... that? They, they might be closing the, uh, the Oma Gang. Brewery. Wait, what? what? No, no. Yeah, man. Might be close. Not close. I'm sorry. Moving it. Moving it because of fracking. Oh, for crying out loud! Really? They're fracking up there, so they're they're scared that that might the fracking might actually poison the water table. So they're they're trying to see what's going on really, and if it's if it if that is a possibility, they're just gonna move the whole whole shop. Somewhere. That's fracked up, man. That's fracked up. Frack.